Problem two is asking us to algebraically isolate x and then use the calculator to solve for the value of x. So I notice I have the base 3 and the base 2, and I'm not able to write these as logs that have the same base. So I'm going to take the log of each side, so log base 10 of 3 to the x equals log base 10 of 2 to the x plus 1. I'm going to use the power property to pull that exponent out in front. That gives me x times log base 10 of 3 equals x plus 1 times log base 10 of 2. Now I'm going to distribute the log 2 to both the x and the 1. So that's going to look like x times log base 10 of 2 plus log base 10 of 2. So that would have a 1 in front of it as a coefficient that we don't actually need to write. And we still have x log base 10 of 3 on the left. Now I want to get my x's together, so I want to get these two terms on the same side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract an x log base 10, 2 on each side. So I get x log base 10 of 3 minus x log base 10 of 2 equals log base 10 of 2. So these have the same base, log base 10. Um, uh, so one of the things I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this x out in front and reverse the distributive property. So that gives me x log base 10 of 3 minus log base 10 of 2 equals log base 10 of 2. Now to get the x alone, I'm going to divide both sides, the log base 10 of 3 minus log base 10 of 2. So that tells me that x equals log 2 over log 3 minus log 2, which is, uh, if I plug that into my calculator, I get about 1.710.